People could start checking in at the old fleet building on 1st Street. As of right now, 5 p.m., Gabriella Becerra got a look at what the city did with the building, and she gives us a first look inside. Gabby? Well, Eric, guests who sleep in these beds tonight will be the first ever to stay at this new temporary shelter. It's much larger than past shelters, which city leaders will tell you is much needed. It's moving day for Madison's emergency men's shelter. It's not, you know, um, cozy, but it is totally functional. The 43,000 square foot space on First Street can shelter more than 250 people, many more than the Warner Park spot. It has bathroom and shower trailers, a couple dozen parking spaces out back, and will serve breakfast and dinner. All of those um, are amenities that are dramatic improvements over what um, we've been able to offer. The city's community development director, Jim O'Keefe, says this shelter is designed to help as many people as possible. That includes screening for COVID-19, lifting rules that ban drug and alcohol users, and waiving the 90-day limit. We are really asking people to come inside and get warm. The city thought it found a spot for a permanent shelter, announcing it this fall, only to see that deal fall through. That put more pressure to find a quick fix. When winter came and we still didn't have a permanent solution, we knew that we needed to have even a bigger space. It would cost Madison $1.75 million to run this shelter for an entire year. It's a far larger budget than what has been the case, for example, at, at Grace Episcopal Church which for over 35 years has been the, the, the venue. Mayor Santi Rhodes Conway says the county is chipping in too, but she hopes the federal government doesn't leave Dane County and the men who need this space out in the cold. We have put the funding for this together, but in bits and pieces. Um, and it's just incredible to me that Congress is hours away from going home for the holidays and they haven't yet voted on a relief act. There's about 24 spaces outside for guests to use. Otherwise, there is a shuttle that will transport guests at, from the Beacon starting at 450. Intake is from 5 to 8.30 p.m. every night. And what also uh, Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway mentioned to me was that there will be opportunity for the people who stay here to find more permanent housing for themselves. 